A lot going on in the witch hunt and all of the corruption in the FBI, the Department of Justice, the intelligence community. Last night, Louis uh, Gomert, Congressman Gomert, was with us here, and he put the spotlight on something that a lot of people didn't recall or even know about James Comey's political past. Here he is. I did not know until last week I saw an article from 2003 where Comey was bragging that, yeah, I was a communist until I became whatever I am now. I'd never heard that. Comey the communist. How about who knew that? Uh, it's amazing. Well, we know that now. That 2003 article the congressman referred to from New York Magazine in which Comey says this, quote, I voted for Reagan. I'd move from communist to whatever I am now. I'm not even sure how to characterize myself politically. Well, he's not the only member of the deep state to have an ideological turn. Uh, leftward of Karl Marx, former CIA director John Brennan also revealing he was once a communist sympathizer during the Cold War, for crying out loud. Are you kidding me? Joining us tonight, James Callstrom, former assistant director of the FBI. He served almost three decades in the FBI and, uh, and the captain of the United States Marine Corps. Great to see you, sir. I never thought when I came back from Vietnam that uh, there'd be a communist that was the head of the CIA. Can you, I, you know, you, this boggles my mind. I, 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 you know, I grew up on uh, uh, the FBI television show yeah. in which they were pursuing communists, and there is, there is one at the head of the CIA uh, and one uh, I wonder if the Comey the and Comey and Brennan were in the same, like, you know, the same den, you know, like the Cub Scout den. The communist. They were in the same communist den somewhere up in the Bronx or someplace. Well, I, <clears throat> it, it's, uh, I, I don't want to say that I convinced of it, but the, it could be possible that they would share such a cell uh, going forward. I would hope that they're held accountable for the, what they have done to this country. Uh, Lou, as, as we've talked for months and months and over a year, you know, it's crystal clear now that this cabal was far-reaching. In this conspiracy, the FBI was involved. So was so was the intelligence community. The director of natu natu um, natural intelligence, yeah. you know, DNI, DNI, Dan Coats. You know, and um, many of the, uh, the Democratic leadership of the Congress were part of this storytelling that went on ever since. You know, it was obvious that Trump was going to be the nominee, yeah. and this thing has been going on and still going on to this day. And the Deputy Attorney General, of course, the Attorney General is out on some sort of. Uh, medical leave of some sort. I don't know what he's doing. But this deputy attorney general is like at the center of this whole thing because, I mean, he... he Rod Rosenstein has been at the, at, at the point of the spear, the part of the fulcrum, yeah. the nexus of everything that is toxic and right. corrupt about the Justice Department and the FBI. He, now we're finding out in this letter, Jim, from four leading Democrats that... They've already made deals in which they withhold intelligence and information from the president of the United States. It's, it's stunning. The, the president should call him into, the, into his office tomorrow, give them a deadline of like 24 hours to present all this. And if they don't fire him, that's what needs to happen. I mean, this whole gaggle of people that are anti-Constitution, anti the rights of people, anti trampling on the rights of people. I mean, it just this is a huge event. I mean, and we haven't even talked about the unmaskings yet. Right. You know, we're going to have hundreds and hundreds of unmaskings of American citizens. Unmasking referring to uh, Samantha Power, for crying out loud, uh, Susan Rice and others who have called uh, unmasking uh, those that they wanted to surveil, as right. it's referred to. Uh, and we're talking, as Jim says, hundreds of American citizens. And, and we, we haven't even heard a word about that. We haven't heard a word about that. In and months. here we go with this. You know, we know now the Pfizer... Uh, they're really illegal. They're perjury. They're, 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 you know, they're not truthful to the to the FISA court. And they withheld critical and, information. And when you present an affidavit, and I, I know I've seen many of them, you know, you got 40, 50, 30 pages of facts. Right. They had no facts. It's all a made up story. You know, the circles the globe and involves a lot of strange people all over the place. It's yeah. a crazy thing. So so they present this fraudulent document. Then they renew it every 90 days, four times. Right. And the law says you have to bring new facts. You have to make the case that you have to continue this because this is a violation of someone's you know, rights and under these the Constitution. And documents, as you point out, uh, this is paid for by Hillary Clinton's campaign, by the Democratic National right. Committee. 
It was a fraudulent, false document. Bob Woodward even refers to gonna, it in his new book. We're going to find out that, that that all these renewals were fraudulent. Yeah. Because what Signed could they what Rosenstein. could they have possibly found out yeah. ab about the person they were surveilling? You know, what, I mean, what, he's not in jail. He hasn't been charged with anything. It's all BS. The whole thing is BS. Well, and there's plenty of that in Washington, D.C., and the level is rising. The Kavanaugh, the Judge Kavanaugh's confirmation hearing, we have an orchestrated uh, effort by the Democrats to call for an FBI investigation of Judge Kavanaugh, which would be unprecedented in any form, but particularly at the last minute. This is an absurdity. Do Have you ever seen anything like this? No. I'm familiar with, with the investigations sure. of, of people that are being, you know, going into the Congress and going elsewhere. You know, these inv investigations, some of them take over a year. You know, everybody this person ever knew is pretty much interviewed going right. back to kindergarten. That's happened six times with Judge Kavanaugh. So this, bo this BS of asking for another investigation, what are they going to investigate? Yeah. As far as I know, they, they, she's not even sure of the date right. or the place. And, and Senator Feinstein, who created all of this, uh, orchestrated it, now it won't, uh, it won't even uh, support or uh, uh, endorse her veracity as the accuser uh, and doesn't explain why she didn't ask for investigations that she could have led uh, three months ago in July. Without question. It's, it's, you know, the whole thing is a stalling tactic, and I hope the, you know, the Republicans uh, on the committee and right. the chairman, I hope they you know, grow a big backbone. I, Grassley has a pretty good one. And stand on what's right and what's what the American people deserve to have. And that's another brilliant member of the Supreme Court. Jim Carlstrom, as always, great to have you with us. Thank you, Lou. Thanks so much.